Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today I'm doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with the Indie Speedrun 3.0. This is the third annual Indie Speedrun. All these games remain 48 hours. I don't know if there's a theme or anything. Nothing was listed. But I'll be playing each one for about a minute. There's 140 entries, about 10 games per video. Link to the individual games in the description so you can check them out. And all my info will also be in the description so you can check me out. Feel free to like, comment with your favorite, and subscribe. And at the end of this, I'll probably have some sort of article on, of my favorites up on Fireside. As always, thank you very much for watching. Next. We're playing Freedom. We need to get out of here. Here, beyond the border, I'll be safe. The invasor coming to our country with their Giantis machine. Giantis machine. The, the east is down. The army called and the survivors to the resistance in Roy City. We have orders to stay here and wait for the command. Roger that. Hear the news, the radio will be useful. I need to go to Glory, my family would be there, but how? Alright, I've clicked to continue. So I'll click here. Um, go to another city. A small ballon of enemy soldiers are patrolling the city. You can hide, but you still need to fight to not be captured. The night comes with a pain and hunger on the way out of town. You find a truck with batteries uh, and a hair dryer. You can assemble the parts and improve your radio. Hey, this will be useful. Over here. The city is frighteningly quiet. It seems no one believes the news of the invasion. There's some open shops you can buy supplies. Let's go buy food and shit. Alright. You barely arrived in town and a missile warning sounds the high streets. You cannot rest. You need to run away. Let's go to a different country. Uh, different city. This one's, oh, I think that's like all we can go to. City's abandoned, open doors, broken windows, and no one to explain what happened. But by shooting holes in the wall and some points of destruction through the city you think the worst. Better take what you can and get out of here or rest before leaving. Uh, pillage, rest, and walk away. So this is like a station. So this is like a refugee and you get to pick where you go. Let's kill him. You can kill him. All you can feel is the strange blood oldly texture in your hands causing the knife slipping in your memory. Echoes the ease of how the knife entered the throat and the odd weight of a dead body pressing over passing the, over the corpse is the way clear for the next city. Killed someone down the station. It's actually kinda sad. Next! I like this girl graphic though. I'm like, I'll upgrade all these. Yep, next! I'm playing Minute Makes Murder. Your psychic abilities give you visions. Catastrophe catastrophic nightmares of years in the future and short spans of few minutes to come the first ability has revealed to you the identity of a terrible serial killer the second ability will allow you to plot his demise the killer's extrasensory powers of his own that would alert him to your presence but you can use your knowledge of what will occur to set a trap for him and be long gone before it goes off your victim will attend a party tonight by observing and remembering what would happen for the first minute of the party you will set a fatal trap for the monster You've brought with you a number of things that might be useful. Be careful not to harm any of the other guests. Tools at your disposal. So I get like screwdriver, a poison dog frog, yeah, 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 a golden poison dart frog, suffoconin, so some poison, some more poison, a battery, and a banana peel. Before you set your trap, you'll see visions of the first minute of the party and how it will proceed without your intervention. Anyway. The red party guests are your intent target. You have one minute to prepare the room before you escape. Click items in the bottom to select them. Mouse over active items in the room to see how they will be used and click them. Okay. Alright. It's viewing a vision of the party. Let's take a look. I was clicking on. I was clicking on the red. Yeah, because it's just on top of the pool table. They're both over by the bar. I think it kind of broke it. I think the, this pool guy should be by the pool table. I'm just kind of watching and seeing what happens. Um, it's not like if I click any of the things at the bottom, it's not really doing anything. Like I just clicked the poison dart frog and nothing happens. Um, I don't know. Seems like a neat idea though. Next. Playing the Legacy. I pressed X. There we go. 
you. That's what's happening. I'm going to the city. Alright. As that I came as soon as I heard. Heard what? We're Alex. Oh, we were just born. Our name's Alex. Okay. You're late, Mom. You're late, said Mom. I know, I know. How's the baby? They're both. We have a girl, because that's what I am. Oh, what a joyful day. Hush, you wake the baby. I feel like running. At least he's very excited. Age three, age four. What does one plus one? Well, the answer's not there. One. Come on, it's so easy. Go easy. Math isn't my strong point either. I want the kid to live a good life, not to expect everything to come easy. I want to be a hero. You will be child. You will be. You will be child. You will be. This is pretty neat, actually. It's time for training. Ugh, more training? Let's say. I'm gonna teach you my secret technique. It's my legacy. X went to wither fist. Yeah. Nice form. Good technique. Keep it up. Wonderful. Proud of you. Oh, C to get ice cream. Okay. This is the fastest I've ever seen anyone learn this technique. Is that good? It's wonderful. <laughs> Next. We're playing You Devil You. After waiting an endless time, we hear a calling. A calling sound out from across the worlds. A hunger within drives you towards it. Summoning your powers, you are engulfed in a whirling tornado of black flame. As the dark flame subsides, you find yourself in a different place an old, on an old familiar world. You Devil You is an interactive fiction. Crosswords. You stand at crossroads in the middle of the night. It seems to be somewhere in America's Midwest. With cornfields stretching in all directions, the full moon is out and it's sticky and warm. The song of cascades pulses around you. Down the road a bit is a beat-up car, looking as if it's been a hand-me-down for several generations of high school drivers. In front of you is a nervous young man in a new but ill-fitting suit, carrying what looks to be a guitar hanging on a strap slung over his shoulder. He looks startled, frozen mid-strut. Better take a look around and get your bearings. Try looking at the moon, the car, or a number of things. Look at car. It appears to be some kind of station wagon, largely held together by rust. Maybe a pinto? The man says, oh hey, you're finally here. He struck the guitar pick between the strums and starts to hold out his hands for a shake. But then, after a moment, thinks better of it. You peer at him a bit more closely. Not a promising species man. The man says, um... So do you have the paperwork with you, or yeah, yeah, I got contracts, all right. Just keep your pants on, okay? You say, well, remembering that what's about to happen, though immediately, that was from the other side. You'd better figure out how to get this over with as quickly as possible. What did they send you here with? Inventory. Pitchfork, a bloody quill pen, a fill-in-the-blank scroll. All right, this seems pretty interesting. I wonder how these two characters are connected. Next. Playing Save Our Souls. Lower your hook by pressing spacebar and move around with WSD. So you're supposed to be uh, saving innocence. Uh, what else is this? This is kind of hard actually. Trying to like, connect. Don't worry, I got your soul. Oh, that's darkness. Get away from that. Wait, there's another person over there. I assume you're a bit slower with your hook all the way down. Got another one. Seem to be in this area. Maybe there's just a few. You're not an innocent soul. Neither are you. Let's see what happens if we take a non missing soul. Maybe it won't let us. Well, that didn't look like a good soul. There's an innocent soul. 
I'm guessing the innocent ones are these pure white ones. Oh, it's getting darker around us, but the more innocent souls we bring up, the lighter it gets. It's kind of hard to get it, like, connected with the human. Ah, oh, damn. Next. We're playing Get Those Cans, Hobo Cat. Alright. I'm guessing this is a ho this is the hobo cat. I like how he has a, a beautiful hat. Come on, pick up the There we go. Wait, do these people not want me to take their can or do they just don't like hobos? Have issues with hobos. Oh, oh, oh. No 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 no. Trust me. I I'm up here. You can't get me now. No no, I'm up here. You can't you can't get me. Get all the cans. All of them. Oh. Alright, so once I get all of them I can go back on my train. That's pretty neat. Little cat collecting cans. I wonder what hobo cats do with cans. I like how I could like I can climb through there. How the hell am I supposed to get this? He's like on top of that can. He's like, nope, no one's gonna get this. Next. We're playing interplanetary dirt cannon. Alright. The nasal nasal wow, the nasal milady of the gods. The year is twenty one seventy two and the people of the planet Detris have angered the ancient gods for the Om omnipresence comes the curse of an omni alfunction. Tired of having to smell the immense amount of stench that one planet has produced, the ancients have come up with a plan to destroy the dirtiest plants in the universe. Meanwhile, the Deterians would clean up their act, but the sound that sounds like hard work. Instead, why not build an enormous cannon to throw dung over neighboring planets so they smell worse and get destroyed instead? Move the mouse to the cannon, right click to select dung type, left click to fire. Number above each player shows how much dung has been splattered across the surface. To ensure survival, make sure Deterris has the least dung in the solar system when each judgment day comes around. That's oh, your nice soil. Oh shit, it's flying to the sun. God damn it. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, they, they got destroyed. Alright, Judgment Day 17, we'll try to... Oh, look at that. Don't we become, like, clean if we just throw all of our poop at other planets? Four, three, the Earth two, mower? one. They destroyed the sun! So depending on how much mass you want to give up, Pick different poops. That one's a big poop. Five, four, three, two, one. You s you win. You survive, but now you're doomed to an eternal eternity of solitude in the universe full of poop. Yay! It's kind of funny. Next, I'm playing Office Party, which is in this really awkward window that's like not quite big enough and stuff. Like there's a full page, but it's just not there. You are a lonely, lonely man and not know not what to do. You seek a doctor to give you solace, and he agrees to help you out and puts you un under. You can hear him uttering, you'll never be lonely again. Ha -ha. You wake up and find yourself in an office with a friend who quickly discovered you can never escape. Complete the task before he gets mad or else. So WSD, mouse, T, E. Okay. <laughs> Where is he? WSD doesn't actually move us. Right, it's now happy to take my mouse, but WSD still doesn't move us. Move the arrow keys? Nope. There's literally no way to move. I see your coffee. But WSD doesn't move me. Unless I'm the cow. But I don't think I'm the cow. <sighs> nope. Cow hates you. What? Well, it won't let me move. Next. Playing Secret Dungeon Princess. Alright, WSD. Alright, yeah, blah, blah. Got it. And you begin. Find and rescue the princess from the dungeon. Take her to safety. It's randomly generated. Alright. Okay. 
Congratulations, you found the princess. Press enter to continue. I did. I've pressed enter and nothing's happening. I don't know. Is the center? Nope. Next. We're playing a two-player game called Flagship. Sadly, there's only one of me, Lewis, without getting a haircut. So I'm gonna do both. Alright, so aim, launch, launch from planets you've colonized. Hold seven points, alright. Oh, I totally launched the wrong one. What was your launch thing? Shift. Enter. Yours was totally enter. Alright, so yours is space. Oh, dude, how do we colonize shit? Maybe we need the, the gold planets to colonize. I'm just gonna focus on one ship, the pink ship, because it's pink. Oh, the blue actually colonized. I missed it, because I don't care about the blue. Uh, I was hoping I'd get that far away planet, if nothing else, but I seem to suck at this. Can only colonize by mistake. Yay! Guys, this is cool. Colonize things. How do we switch so we can go to one that we colonize? Like, there we go. Now we've switched on blue so we can. Oh. I don't know. Get other planets that are closer. Like this big planet out here. Nope. Still a failure. I can almost go like this. <laughs> Boom. Can we take back our ships? I like the graphics and this is very, very lovely. And I meant take back planets. Boop. You can see how this can be so helpful to have like planets out here. Oh, negative ones, those aren't good at all. Next.